plus in 14.8 average value versus rate of change graphically. Directions say that the graph of the function f shown below, which statement about f is true on the interval negative nine to nine. It's talking about the average value versus average rate of change. Remember average value is dealing with the integral. So it's saying that we're going from a to b, or in our case, we're going from negative nine to nine of the function with respect to x and then dividing by negative nine. Sorry, nine minus negative nine, which would be nine plus nine, I'm covering 18 uh, units on the axis. So that's average value versus average rate of change. Don't forget that that is just finding the slope. That is just finding the slope of a, I have to think about a secant line because the tangent line touches in one spot. So that's literally, if I take a ruler and I want to connect the point when x is negative 9 to when x is positive 9, I'm talking about this slope, which is obviously decreasing, so it's negative. So I should have where the average rate of change is negative, so that's not going to be that one, and it's not going to be that one. The average value, well, I could just kind of look here and see that I've got um, some little bit of positive here, I've got some negative here. I've got positive area here, negative here. So that kind of almost cancels each other out, but it looks like I'm gonna have a lot more positive. There's a little negative. So those kind of cancel. I would say those kind of cancel. It looks like I'm gonna have a lot of positive area when I net all of it. And so when I have the positive divided by 18, that's still gonna be positive. So my average Y value Looks like it should be positive, so I'm gonna select that one.